Now let's for a moment, let's for one moment, assume that this is real, this is reality. And you believe it. This is it. This is reality. Whatever is happening in your world is happening, is real. And your body is real. And that everything that you've been told is true. That you live, you breathe, you die. And whatever happens after that, fingers crossed. Okay? That's what you've been told. Let's assume that it's a, a dream. So what is happening in the, let's assume it's real, sorry, not the dream. So whatever is happening in your day-to-day -day life is that you are part of a system. The system is all you know. Let's not look at it past, future, whatever is happening or whatever you achieve, do, appear in, participate in is the system. You are a system. You are not this free living being, human, that can please yourself whatever you want to do. You live as part of the system. You are the system, you invented the system, and you live by the system. It's very simple. So, you'll disagree. You'll, you'll disagree, yeah? No, 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 I'm free. You know, I can please what I want. I've got money, I can do this, I can do that. You cannot not live by the system. You cannot break rules, regulations. You cannot not allow your children to go to school. You cannot do anything on this land without someone saying, you're not free to do anything on this land that you like. And we will allow you. You can, we will give you some belief that you can, but it's our land. Who is this our? Who is this system? Who is this controls of this system? What is this system? It doesn't matter. See, it's not about ridiculing the system. You are a system. You're a systematic thing. You, you agree and pertain to do everything that has been done in the past. Your honor to your people who have passed is greater than the future for your children. You see? That's the difference in the system. You rather live and behave in a conditioned way to honor your, your past relatives. You don't really care about your children's future. If you're looking at past and future, and you believe this is real, it's a truth. You're not caring about your children's future. Yes, I am. I want them to get a job. You want them to go into the system. You want them to feel part of the system. You don't want them to be free. They have to live within the boundaries and the rules and the regulations of this system. It's not of governments, of politicians, of kings, of queens, of lands, lairds. It's the system. It is not a people thing, this system. This system is called mind, ego mind. The mind is desperate because many of you want to get out of this system. I feel trapped. I feel I want to be free. I want to be enlightened. So we use enlightenment, awakening, which is existing experiences, but we use them as an excuse to fit into the system but feel great about it. Yes, but we're enlightened, you see. We can see the system and we can live by it and we can feel free and it doesn't bother us anymore. And this is fact. But you don't care about the others who are still living within the system. Quite rightfully, because it's up to them to get themselves out of the system. For your children's sake. We can go on and on and on in this time-based world trapped, behaving and adapting and relating to past, ancient, civilized, Neanderthal ways. A conceptual free world. I don't think we're a conceptual free world. We're a concept. We, 
we have made this invented these words to make us feel as though we are free in this conceptual free world this conceptual free world is is is, is prisoners is a prison still trapped by this past this rules this regulations this bourgeois hierarch hierarchy kind of bullshit that was maybe good for them i'm not denying it you don't deny anything when you're when you see like this i'm not denying it but it's not pertinent today it's not pertinent today i like to speak about education the root of the system and you will see if you truly truly understand truly listen and truly want your children to be free you will see that this education has to be destroyed but i will speak about it next time for now don't worry because none of this is real but we're looking for it at it for a moment through your eyes not through god's eyes through your eyes and you think this is real so let's if it's real and you want it to be real and you want to live by this reality life middle death then let's get it right <laughs> let's do something about it <laughs> instead of suffering every single day look at part two for the education side and you'll see namaste have a nice day